they sent me six pounds of bananas. Six pounds! So I thought, oh, perfect! Your screw up, but my uh, reward, because now I get to dehydrate bananas. It would kind of be nice right now to have a monkey, wouldn't it? Hi everybody, we're back for our two hour check-in. Hi, well it's me back again, in my pajamas. 7.30, now it's 5.55 a.m. I've been up since 3 a.m. Hi everybody, welcome back. We're doing it again. We're doing it again. But this time you know what we're doing. You want to know what we're doing, don't you? Bananas. Bananas. I have grocery delivery and I ordered six bananas. Let me show you what they sent me. I'll show you. They sent me six pounds of bananas. Six pounds! So I thought, oh, Perfect! Your screw up, but my uh, reward because now I get to dehydrate bananas. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I would like to thank you Aldi's for sending me all these bananas. Now I was going to do... Let me put these back. I was going to do apples, but I don't know. We'll see how this video goes. My husband may be ending this video for me so you might see him at the end of the video. I don't know if any of you or some of you might know I have a rod in my spine and I have done something to aggravate that right now and my back pain is like at you know 0 to 10 pain scale. Yesterday I was at a 15. Last night I was probably at a 13. It, it, it got pretty bad. I went to the doctor yesterday and I got a steroid shot and I've got a prescription of steroids here and that is helping so we'll see we will see so you might see my husband at the end of this video I don't know so the first thing we're gonna do is peel these bananas peel the bananas because that's what we're doing it would kind of be nice right now to have a monkey wouldn't it a monkey a monkey could peel all these bananas for me and I'm throwing them in my sink because I'm gonna put them in my compost pile. I have like a worm farm compost pile going up outside. I do have videos, you can see. I have that going. Now I'm in Ohio, and now let me tell you. I got my weather app up on my phone. It's 11 o'clock in the morning, it's 48 degrees outside, and there's 62% humidity. So it's a rainy, humid day here. I don't know how long this is gonna take, so my husband might be doing this. We will see. So let's cut these bananas. All right, I did my best. I did my best so you're not crooked. So if you are, I'm, I'm sorry. I probably should get a bowl to put these bananas in. Hold please. I got my big, 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 big food networks bowl. We'll just put that right there next to you. Now I'm gonna cut these. I don't like that point I don't like this point thing, and I always cut these off my banana. Oh, look at this. I threw it in the sink. Let me show you what I did. I've got my makeup brushes. My makeup brushes are cleaning in here because I dropped I dropped this one in my coffee today. Well, that's great. I'm, I'm cleaning my makeup brushes as we, as we go along here. Back to cutting the bananas. I'm not sure how thick these should be, or should I say how thin they should be? Maybe, maybe like that. When we cut these, they have to be um, the same size. Try to make them all the same size, so that way they dehydrate equally. Oh, that one's a little. Listen, I'm saying that, and here I, I sliced one really thin. I suppose we could eat that one. Oh, there's a curve in the banana, so we'll have to work with that. That one's a little thick. That's okay. You know what? I'm going to get, I'm going to, hold on, hold on. I'm going to go get something. I have this big spatula that would probably make life, look at that. It's easier to pick up all the bananas. Much, much easier. Now, I'm not going to do all the bananas. I'm not going to do all the bananas. I know, we're really low, aren't we? I am also homeschooling, and the kids... I have a senior here and she's doing fantastic. She really is doing good. She has another two weeks of school and she is done. So I'm doing that. Bananas in the bowl. Okay. Oh, they all didn't come off there. I'm squatting again. This is really good. I'm going to pay for this. Then she doesn't have her driver's license yet. So after my homeschooling job is over, I'm going to turn into the driver's ed teacher. That will be fun. I did let her back my car in the driveway yesterday. That's the first time she's ever sat in the driver's seat. And she did really well. I was really happy. I was really proud of her. 
I'm thinking I should be cutting these thinner. So I got two different, look at this. I got thin and I got thick. I'll just eat that one. So other than that, we're still, Ohio is still in quarantine right now, but I think they've changed. I don't know what they've changed. Listen, I'm retired and I stay at home all the time anyway. So I, I watched the governor in the news like when all this pandemic first started, but then I just had to quit because it's like, I, it's so depressing. So I just quit watching it. So I haven't watched it yesterday, so I don't know what they're opening. I cut my own hair and I don't go to work. I'm able to go to my doctor's. Some of these chips are gonna be really chippy and some of them are not gonna be. I think a slicer. What kind of slicer should I get? Slicer. What kind of slicer should I get? I need a slicer because I think that would be easier because then they would all be more uniform because right now I have ununiform bananas ununiform bananas here did you watch my fruit video if not why not go back go back and see it it's on a playlist if you go to the page family homestead she has a playlist created i will put the hashtag up right here that hashtag let's dehydrate and she is putting everybody's videos that dehydrates that puts the hashtag let's dehydrate in her playlist which I think is a really nice thing to do. So we're all excited about dehydrating. We're getting other people involved and excited. Peggy has me involved. Deb over at Deb's Way, she's putting up some. Mm. You know what? Over at Paige Family Homestead, she made biscotti in her dehydrator, which I love biscotti. My mom loves biscotti. So I'm going to try to do it. My dog is going crazy in there. On. let me tend to my my animal nobody wants to hear you whine I'm filming a video and you're whining okay stop whining I should just let her out come on you can just get out you want to just get out don't bother anybody because everybody's doing their schoolwork all right I had to get my dog out now that my dog is out and happy she's whacking everybody with her tail she's so excited these are probably going to take forever to dehydrate because of the weather and probably the size of the bananas. My first time doing bananas, so I don't know. We're just winging it. And that one's paper thin. We are just winging it. Oh, you know what else? Peggy told me that... I think she, I think she told me. Listen, I don't remember. But she might have said something about lemon juice on, on these to keep them not turning brown i don't have lemon juice so we're gonna have brown banana chips but that's okay all right this is the last banana i'm gonna cut up so i'll be right back all right let's dehydrate time to uh put the bananas on the tray i had a small interruption so i put the bananas in the refrigerator for a little while my pregnant daughter called i'm gonna have another grandbaby i'm so excited a little girl she's gonna have a little a little girl i'm so excited I'm so excited and my pregnant daughter let me tell you she's fun she calls me now every day almost sometimes two times a day and she was here yesterday sorry I got excited and I knocked the camera off but okay sorry and she calls me anyway and stuff but now that she's pregnant she called me and she like wants to know things how cool is that love it so all you out there with girls that you know, teenagers, you know how they are. They hate their mother. They'll like you one day, trust me. I got my bananas. They're just a tiny bit brown because I had an interruption and that's okay. That's okay because I imagine they're gonna turn brown on this thing anyway. So I'm gonna put these bananas on here. And just like last time, I'm gonna put a handful of bananas on here and just smooth them around. Can you see me doing this? I'm smoothing them around. They have to be in single file not touching and i also learned something when i did my fruit video you need more than two trays to do this because of the airflow i'm going to use more than well i may end up using all of them with all these bananas i don't know well, there's a pile some are thinner than others but that's okay again we're winging that that looks like it's been mashed we'll put that back but who doesn't love a good banana chip I'll be right back. I'm going to wash my hands and get another tray. Got the tray. Got the tray. Now with these, okay, 
that's in my way. With these, I don't think they're going to fall through, so I don't think I need to use the screen, and I can't, maybe it goes this way. Ah, no. Hmm. Hold, please. Line it up. Being as I'm a newbie, did I put that in the wrong way? No. Oh, here, let me show you something. This is smooth, and this has a little thing. Can you see the little thing? That goes down, and it hooks into the other tray. Well, that's helpful to know. Still haven't read the manual. Just watching videos. Probably should have read the manual. We're winging this. Usually I read the instructions for everything. I'm an instruction reader. But when, it, when this thing came, I just said, let's fire it up. That's why I didn't add all the trays when I was doing the fruit. I didn't have enough trays in there. So I posted a picture on Facebook. And somebody commented on my picture and said, um, I think you need more trays for airflow. So I thought, oh, well, I look stupid. I look really stupid now. So I deleted the picture so nobody else would see it. Because I didn't want to look real stupid. Because who wants to look stupid on Facebook? Not me. Well, I do film videos that sometimes can be crazy, but that's different. I have a few that might fall through, but we'll let them fall through. Because if they fall through, they're going to hit the next tray. And oh, this bending over, I'm telling you, I need to quit bending over. I've spent two days in bed because of this back pain. You want to know how I hurt my back? You're going to all think this is nuts. But it doesn't take, it doesn't take much. Last week... I was making masks. In fact, I have a video on my channel how to make elastic because elastic is hard to come by right now. So I figured out a way how to make elastic with the masks that work. Well, I sat at my sewing machine last week every day for three to four hours. And as I was sitting there, I'm thinking, oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'll be right back and finish this story. Okay, I'm gonna add another tray. We got a lot of, we got a lot of bananas here. All right, thingies are down. As I was sitting there sewing, I'm thinking, oh, I'm really getting stiff. Hmm, I probably should get up and stop. Well, guess what, I didn't. I should have listened to my body and my brain and I should have gotten up because by Saturday, I couldn't stand up straight. Sunday, I was in bed all day in a lot of pain. And I have pain meds here and they're rotten and muscle relaxers and all that. I wasn't touching it. It just wasn't touching it. So, Monday, I called the doctor and told him what happened. And there, this happens to me like once every two months. I get a really bad. I do something that don't listen to myself have to go in and get a steroid shot so I feel like right now I have enough energy that I could like move the house from east to west but I cannot do that because I need to rest in fact this is hurting probably shouldn't be doing this today either I also wanted to make soup in my instapot a ham and bean soup I might, I'll sit down for a while and rest and then maybe I'll be able to get that put together if not I have delivery apps. I have food restaurants on my phone and deliver. We had Domino's twice this weekend. I just witnessed a fruit fly fly by me and I don't know where it came from. Somebody tell me how fruit, they fruit flies, they just appear. How, how is that? There, no, that's not it. That's a, I have a spot on my black cabinet. Thought it was a fruit fly, it's not. But I just saw one fly by. Where do they come from and how do they appear? I'll be right back. Probably if I would bring this rag over here, I wouldn't have to keep leaving. But I have a few more bananas here I can add. Probably on the bottom. Yep, on the bottom tray. All right, my trays are full. Trays are full. And stack these. We'll just stack these right up. They're already stacked. So let's see if I could do, do this without screwing it. Oh, I did. I hope I don't get any more fruit flies. I hope they stay away. You know what? I'm going to put the empty tray on the bottom. For one, it won't just be sitting around my kitchen in my way looking like clutter. Oh, I'm going to drop all the bananas on the floor. All right, that's in there. Okay, I'll be right back with the lid. We're doing it. Look at bananas. Oh, see, now look.
just in case you wondered, that's how you get a thumbnail. All right, so we're going to put it on the fruit setting. See, it tells you fruit 135. Everybody, we're back for our two-hour check-in. Let's see how this is. Let's see how this is going. I was looking at my. I have my ring light back there. I was looking at my light. Hmm. Wonder if that's going to be in the video. Probably should have had it on the other side of me, but I didn't. It's been a little over two hours. Let's check this. It smells really good in here. Oh, looky there. Looky there. They're shrinking. They're still. They're a little, they're still bendable. So they're a couple more hours. I'm just gonna let it run for maybe another hour, then I'll rotate the trays. I've got homework to go help with right now. Let it run for an hour. I'm gonna go do some homework help and then I'll be back. Well, it's been another hour. School is done. Thankful for that. Done for the day, just for the day. So I thought I'd rotate my trays, put those on the bottom. How am I going to do this? Let's see. I don't have really a lot of room. Do better, Michelle. Come on. It's going to be like leapfrog. I heard this was like leapfrog. So we'll put this tray on the bottom because this one was on the top. So this will go on the bottom and then we'll just do this. Hey, I got it. I got it. Oh, wait. I had my empty tray on the bottom, didn't I? Let me put the empty tray back on the bottom on the bottom and then we'll put this back on here and let me see how they're doing let's let's taste test one just because they smell so good yeah they're still a little won't be they're not crispy yet but they taste good you can trust me on that they do taste good all right I got to get the lid it's it's behind the camera hold, hold on all right we'll put the lid back on here okay I think everything's on here right let's see yep I think we're good. All right, we're going to plug her back in and give it a couple more hours. I'll give it about two more hours and check it, or my husband will check it. You're going to see one of us tonight with the bananas. All right, we'll be back. Hi, well, it's me back again in my pajamas. It's 7.30, and I usually lay down about now because of my back. I, I only can make it until like normally like 6 30 6 6 30 and my back is done and I have to go lay down that's just the way it is but let's do a check in here I did turn the temperature up a little actually between 135 and 145 I did do that so they're doing they're doing pretty good they're getting smaller they're still a little mushy but of course I did this on a rainy day with humidity you see them missing my grandkids were over today my grandsons. I did a little bit of hair cutting today. I'm like the master of all trades. I'm the homeschooler. I'm the hair cutter. I'm the dehydrator. I'm the now driver's ed instructor. So I'm like the jack of all trades here. Now the next check-in, it might be either in the morning or from my husband. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see because he usually stays up like an hour later than I do. So we'll see who you get. Me in the morning or my husband at night. Either way, we'll see. It's 6 a.m. This is morning me. Morning Michelle. We're going to put it out there. We're going to put it out there. All right. I got up at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. I've been up since 3 a.m. Now, they're still not crispy and I don't think they're done yet. I think I cut them too thick maybe i don't know there is 86 percent humidity in ohio right now yeah okay morning michelle's gonna get off here now and have some coffee well let's check in on these bananas it's the next day at 9 41 in the morning and we started them at 12 30 remember and i just got off the messenger talking with page family homestead peggy and she told me to flip them over i never thought about flipping them over but I've been flipping, they're not sticking, but I've been flipping these over. Now it's, oh here I am, it's, it's raining in Ohio and it's really humid. We're supposed to have a nice day today, unless the weatherman lies, but you all know how that goes, right? A weatherman lying? I think it's the only job that you have that you can lie and get away with it. I'm going to flip all these over and not bore you with this because 
who wants to watch somebody flipping bananas? Then I'm going to get into my homeschooling day, which I just told the children, it's time. It's time to get out the books. And they all went, no. All right. I've got like 500 trays of bananas to flip here. I'll check in later. Day two. These bananas drive, drive, us, drive us all crazy. My wife has been bugging me for two days checking on these, checking these damn bananas. I'm going to check on them. You want to look? Let's look. Tell them we're fed up with the damn bananas. They're good, but they're still gooey yet. More hydrating. Dehydrating, sorry. Maybe day three? We'll see. Good luck. See you later. Well, it's me back again. I can't check on the bananas anymore. See, look, the bananas are gone. I put them in my oven. I got tired of waiting for the bananas, so I thought, I'll put them in, in my oven. So I did that. Notice. They're not in... Oh, it smells in there. They're not in the oven either. No. I put them in the oven. It at 4, I can't, I seriously can't stop laughing. At 400 degrees for an hour. My husband and I are eating dinner. He's like, why is there smoke pouring? Why is there smoke pouring out of the kitchen? I went, oh my God. They stopped somewhere else. They're not here. But my smoke alarms were going off. And my house smells terrible. Well, the smoke continued to pour in through the whole house. My husband now has a fan in the window. <laughs> Our house smells terrible. I've never smelled bananas before that were burnt. Never. I just can't stop laughing. Would you like to see the bananas? <laughs> Peggy from Page Family Homestead and told her, told her what I did. She's still laughing. <laughs> she's, I know she's still laughing at me. So patience. You have to have patience when you're doing bananas and I don't, evidently don't have that. I don't have two days or three days worth of patience to do bananas anyway. Okay, I'm going to flip you around so you can see my bananas now. There's my bananas. And poor little guys. No, there's stuff. I probably ruined the pan. Ugh, anybody. This is what happens. I guess that's what happens when you try to bake your bananas. So, and you probably won't see another banana video from me for a long time. Oh, it smells so bad in here. It smells so bad. I can't even describe the smell. I just can't. There's no, I can't describe it. It smells like toxic waste. <laughs> okay, please. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Come back for more. Come back for more. You don't want to miss any of this. I'm learning how to dehydrate. <sighs> okay. I'll see you in my next video, hopefully. Bye.